Hi, and welcome to my garden. Today, we're gonna to be talking about onions, and specifically growing onions in Florida, and what is the best way to start your onions? Because there's lots of options out there, like sets, starts, and then, of course, seed. So, let's play in the garden. So before we get to what is my favorite way to start onions in the garden, let's talk about a few things that you need to know about onions. So first, um, the timeline for starting onions is kind of very similar to garlic in that you do want to start them depending on which way you're starting, whether you're starting from seed, which is typically around the September timeframe, starts, which are around the November timeframes, and then sets about the same time, November or December, shortly after. Um, and you may be wondering, <laughs> what are sets and starts? Of course, I think we all know what seeds are. Seeds are, um, you know, the plant will produce a flower and the flower will produce seeds. And those seeds are what we use um, to plant lots of different kinds of vegetables. Um, but onions also come in a couple different ways that you can purchase them. Another way that you can purchase them is something called starts. Starts are a very small baby onion plant. Um, so typically what it has is a very, very tiny bulb on the end and then some green growth at the top. Um, it's almost like what you would expect to see from uh, bare root strawberries or bare root potato slips. Um, very similar to that in that it's a very immature small plant. Um, normally they're not in dirt. Normally they are wrapped up with the roots exposed. Um, sometimes they're wrapped with peat moss or wet paper towels or something like that. But they are what we would call an immature, um, you know, onion plant. Somebody has planted them from seed and they have grown um, just a little bit, enough for you to transplant them in your garden. Now sets are a little bit different. Sets have actually are plants of the onion that have already started to bulb. So on the bottom, what you get with a set is an actual little tiny bulb. Whereas starts look more like green onions, sets look more like a very young onion. Um, it's just seeds, starts, and sets are just different life cycles of the plant. So it all starts with a seed. And then those seeds kind of turn into starts or what looks like a green onion or a very young green onion. And then they start to bulb. And that is what a set is. Um, on top of determining which one you want to grow, sets, starts, or seeds, um, you also have to determine uh, what area of the country that you live in to determine what type of onion you can grow. So there are short day, long day, and like a midday or intermediate day. These right here are an intermediate day that I started from sets. Um, the intermediate day I thought might work here because they said it works everywhere. It does not work in Florida. <laughs> and I'll show you in just a moment why that is. Um, but really the short, intermediate, and long day is based on how much sun that the plants are gonna get throughout its life cycle. So a short day onion is going to get 10 to 12 hours of sunlight a day, an intermediate is about 12 to 14, and then the long day onions can get, um, you know, 14 to you know, 16 if you're, um, or even 18 if you're all the way up in Alaska. Um, but it really is dependent on how much sun you get on a typical day. The sun is what determines or it tells the plant when it needs to start forming the bulb. So if you get a long day onion and you put it in a Florida garden where we typically get 11 to 12 hours of sunlight a day, depending on the year, it will never bulb because it's waiting for that 14, 16, 18 hour day long sunlight. And that just isn't gonna happen. Now the name is a little bit deceiving because short day versus long day doesn't mean that you're gonna get them in a shorter period of time or it's gonna take longer for your onions to bulb. It really has no, um, it really has no distinction on the timeliness of the onion. It has to do with the day length. 
So down here in Florida, we grow short day. You really don't have to buy a bunching onion type to get a green onion. In fact, I use these as green onions because they're never gonna bulb. They are the most giant green onions you'll ever use, but they taste just like green onions. <laughs> um, after they've reached that green onion phase where it has a little bit of a white uh, stem and then the top is nice and bushy and green, um, what you'll start to see is the bulbing starting to take effect. And it will start out very small, almost to where you can't see it. And then the bulbs will grow rounder and rounder and bigger and bigger. And they grow actually on top of the soil for the most part. Um, sometimes you have to pull the soil away to get a really good look at them. And it doesn't hurt anything to do that. In fact, a lot of people like to um, pull the dirt away. It's called spooning. And they like to pull that dirt away from the onion to to keep that onion from having hin any hindrance of growing bigger and bigger um, once you've got them in the ground once you've got them to that start phase um, then you're going to really want to start fertilizing these guys and and they're not super heavy feeders i haven't found um, not like garlic or corn <laughs> but um, they do need to be fed so fish fertilizer garden tone maybe every two weeks when they're young and then as they get bigger like these guys um, maybe once a month I mean I haven't fertilized these in probably three months um, and they still grow just fine they don't need a lot of help once they get big now let's talk about the pros and cons of the various types of onions like sets starts and seeds so for sets um, probably the the best pro for sets is that they grow very, very fast. I mean, they're basically already a bulbing onion. Um, so all you have to do is put them in the ground and within a couple of months, they are going to be full onions. Now the cons is that sets are more expensive than starch or seed by far. Um, also, the varieties are very limited. In fact, I could not find a short day set. I'm sure that they exist, but I could not find any short day onion sets that I could use, hence why I use the intermediate or midday onion. Um, the other problem with sets that you might encounter is sometimes the set or the bulb is actually the second year uh, bulb. And what I mean by that is that Onion plants are biannuals. That means the first year they grow big, green, and bushy. The second year they flower. When they flower, you're not gonna get a good onion bulb that you can use for storing and cooking. Now you could still use them. They're completely still edible, but um, they're not going to store as well. Um, they're not going to get as big. Um, they are going to get a little more woody, those kinds of things. And you don't know when you get the set if it is actually a first year set or a second year set. It's never specified. So you could go through all that trouble, pay all that money for a set, and end up with a flowering plant with onions that won't store. Or, like what happened to me, I got a midday that will not bulb. <laughs> so taking up room in my garden um, thankfully, my family loves green onions, so we've been using it for that. And I actually have been pulling these guys out and using the root that is there, which isn't much of a root. I'll show you one right now. As you can see, I've got a tiny bit of bulbing here, but this is not what you would expect from an onion. An onion should be round. Um, it also, the top should fall over and die out and that's how you know when to pick them. These guys will never store. Um, but what I like to do with them is I like to use the tops as green onions and I like to chop up the bottoms, um, put them in my dehydrator and make onion powder out of them, which is, I'm gonna make lemons out of lemonades or onion powder out of midday onions. <laughs> So um, there are still things that you can use them for and they are still edible, um, but sets in general um, are a risk uh, depending on where you live. Um, most of them are long days, some of them are intermediate, but you know, like I said, they're, it's unlikely that you're gonna know whether they're a first year onion or a second year onion and equally unknown whether they're intermediate, long day or short day. So for my vote, sets are not the way to go. 
The next um, type of onion uh, way that you can start onions is starts. Now the pros of starts is once again, you're getting a speeder time, not like, not like sets, um, but they will be faster because um, the seed growth phase does take a long time. I mean, months longer than a set or a start. A set will get you, like I said, a couple of months, you're gonna have onions. A start, it's gonna be more like three to four months that you're gonna have onions, which is still great timing. Um, the other thing is locating starts. Uh, I found some easy short day starts in my local nursery or even at a big box store. They're actually much easier to locate, but you have to be looking for them at a certain time of year, which is the time that they're going to go in. That's that November, December, even January time frame. Um, the negative about starts is they're not as expensive as sets, but they are more expensive than seeds and there is a limited amount. You're gonna get a bundle and those bundles might have 20 to 30 that are viable. And sometimes you get a lot in there that are not viable or they're dead already. Um, you can still try to plant them and see what happens. Most of those died off on me, but the ones that were nice and green and had good root systems did very well. But for the money, um, they're not the best pick. Um, the third way is you could start from seeds, which is number one pro, they're the cheapest. <laughs> you can get hundreds of seeds for a couple of dollars and you can grow a year's worth of onions with just a couple dollars for seeds, which is awesome. Um, you know that you're getting a first year onion because it's seed. Um, you know that you're getting a short day or a long day because they all have the variety types on them with Granex being a great one for down here in Florida, which is a short day onion. Um, very similar to the Vidalia onion. But then the other issue is the, the cons of growing from seed. Uh, seed is fickle, <laughs> all seeds. Uh, trying to germinate seeds can sometimes be a challenge for any gardener, even an experienced gardener. So getting them to germinate properly, keeping them wet, keeping them moist to the, to the moisture that they like, um, getting them past their young stage where they have very wispy um, greens on them to getting them to the start phase takes a long time. So another con for seeds is, is that they, they do take a lot longer uh, timeline. And by a lot longer, I'm talking six, nine months, depending on the variety. Do you have space in your garden to set aside that amount of time? Um, do you want to wait six to nine months to get onions? Um, so these are all uh, factors into why you may or may not want to start with sets, starts, and seeds. Um, if you want to know my personal favorite, I think that starts are the way to go. Um, they are not as expensive as sets. They're not as cheap as seeds but you get in harvest faster. You know exactly what kind of onions you're getting. You know that they're first day, or I'm sorry, first year onions. So in a lot of ways, they are a no nonsense. You really don't have to do much with them. Stick your finger in a hole, stick the plant in the ground, cover it back up, fertilize them once a month as you would the rest of your garden, and you're gonna have tons and tons of onions. Um, but if you want a challenge, start them from seed um, because that would be my second favorite way um, would be seeds but they do take a lot longer you are going to have to dedicate an area of your garden for a long period of time um, and you are going to have to baby them out of that seedling stage and then of course my last or least favorite probably influenced by this situation <laughs> is sets so there you have it you have my favorite way to grow onions which is starts um, and I hope that you take this as an opportunity to give onions a shot in your garden because they are super easy. Make sure to hit that subscribe thumbs up button um, so that you don't miss any of my future videos.